True peace. Cans, red, neck, rave, descends into throat slashing, impalements, and mass arrests. Peep the slang. Uh oh. Peep the slang, yo, a massive country music festival in Kentucky this past weekend started off on rocky footing. Police found meth, marijuana, and an open bottle of alcohol in the first vehicle they stopped at a traffic checkpoint. One of the people in the car had two active warrants out for their arrest. Peep the slang. We were like, well, this doesn't bode well for the weekend, Edmondson. County Sheriff Shane Dole told Lexington Herald Reader, leader, I mean, police said that they, by the end of the five-day bash, dubbed the redneck grave, one, one man had been impaled, one woman had been strangled to the point of unconsciousness, and one throat had been slit. In all, Edmondson's authority arrested 14 people and charged four dozen people from five states man peep the slang what's going on what's going on with people yo the event organized by country rapper justin time took place in blue Hollow off-road well he should be charged like trump was huh took place in blue Hollow off-road park and drew a crowd of tens of thousands doubling the population of the unincorporated town of Oli, which is a which is so small it does not have a stoplight Redneck Rave promoters bragged that they had sold more than 20,000 tickets. The lengthy get down advertised as the biggest country party you will ever go to. Boasted a de demolition, derby, goldfish racing, and a full scale football game, as well as a series of concerts. I guess this is what uh, White Boy Summer is, huh? The details of the redneck rave incidents are grisly. One person slit a friend's throat and remains at large. A 29-year-old man had allegedly strangled a woman until she passed out. One person lost the better part of a finger, damn, and another was impaled when he drove a side-by-side -side over a two- and three-inch long log that broke through the bottom of the recreational vehicle. Paramedics left the log inside him as they airlifted him to a hospital. Man, golly. Justin Time, whose legal name is Justin Stowers, wrote on Facebook, This was the biggest event ever done with as many people and random things that popped up unexpectedly. I feel like we all handled it very well. Okay, well.
Redneck Raven, Kentucky. Keep the slang. Dole told the Herald leader last year, Redneck Graves, three were too overwhelmed. His staff, he ordered all his deputies to work mandatory overtime this year and requested assistance from the Kentucky State Police. At least one person died at the 
event last year. Another redneck rave is scheduled for October this year, man. Peep this lane. Redneck raving. Redneck raving. <laughs>